Good morning, geeky folks. How are you today? Welcome to the vlog of the day, I guess. It's been a few days since we've done one, but Ken whipped out the camera there because I am about to install this wall mount for a TV. So we're in, we're in Cali in my office, and we have this wall mount. This is made by MW Mounts. Um, this is a two-piece thing, and as you can see, uh, it looks like it stays way out from the wall. That's not the case. This is uh, movable, so you can do that, and you can, once the TV's on here, you can twist it and tilt it, so it's, it lets you really just move the panel around. These are really, really stable mounts. They'll hold up to a 70-inch TV, so that's, you know, what most of you might have. So if you're thinking about mounting a TV on the wall, this is how you do it, and I'm, I'm just giving you the really quick and dirty version of it, okay? So you'll notice that this is the part that goes on the wall, there are some little channels right here, little screw places, and what they do is they send you in the kit these giant bolts, okay? Now these are meant to go into a stud, so you could use a stud finder on the wall, pre-drill a small hole, and then bolt these right through here, like so, to, to hold in the wall. However, in an area like uh, like here, we have this, this is just a temporary wall in the office. It's got some metal studs in it, but it's not that great for mounting. So what we're doing instead is we're using these easy anchor self-drilling drywall anchors. It's a toggle lock. This is what it looks like. You see it's a big honking uh, screw. It's actually self-tapping, which means we don't have to drill anything. This will drill into the wall and then after we start screwing a uh, screw into it, it will spread open. Uh, let's see, I probably have to, I have to really screw into it. But there's, there's a metal piece in here that will, it will swing up like this. So when this is in the wall, this swings up and just locks it to the inside of the wall. So that's what we're doing. I've already got seven of these bolts here. Sorry, let me uh, pass this phone to Callie. Pause it. All right, so I've already got these uh, seven of these bolts here, and what I did was I literally held this in place, and I marked the spots like with a, with a par uh, pen. Um, I drew all three, all eight of these little holes on here, and then I screwed these in. Now, You'll notice we actually mounted this plug on the wall here, and what I would recommend usually is, and we did this beforehand, so this is for our dish network. I would have liked to have seen this right here, so everything is directly in between these two squares. So when you're doing this, always you know pre kind of hold these things on the wall. Get your mount before you put everything in. But notice that we put a four-way panel here. You want to do that because that's going to allow you to A, plug in your TV, but B, plug in other devices and leave them hanging on the back of the TV, like a dish uh, hopper or like an Apple TV or something. So here's the way this works. I've got the old drill. I've got a mark. I've got a, a thing marked here. These just kind of go like that. And if you get up close on that, Kim, they can see how it self taps. All right. Now, once it's through, uh, we're going to keep screwing it in. But the important part here is you'll notice there's an arrow, there's two arrows. And we want those basically pointing straight up and down because those indicate the direction that the little lock is going to pop up. And we don't want it sideways because then the pulling down force would, would rip it out. So we want it to be up and down just like that is. So that was about that. Now what I'm going to do is um, because the screws for this are much smaller, we had to get some washers. So you need to get some of these washers. These bolts came from uh, Lowe's. A 25 pack was like 10 bucks maybe. These washers are like 30 cents a piece. So I'm gonna get a washer, put it on the bolt. Uh, let me pull this out. I 
tad so I can reach. There we go. Always helps if you've got a buddy to hold it for you. I'm going to stick that in there. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Screw it in. Now, it's not all the way screwed in. As I keep screwing it, I'll feel it spread open and then tighten up. There we go. You see how that tightened right up against the wall? We'll do one on each side. There we go. Now, that is held in place. So now, the only other thing I need to do is I need to go through and mount the rest. Make sure you use a level and uh, keep it. So this is, if you look at the little bubble right there, it's a little off. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of loosen one of these up and push on it a little till we get it level. Then we'll tighten them all down. And once this mounting is uh, in place, you'll see there is a back panel piece that mounts to the television. They give you a big selection of various size bolts that will go in the back of your TV. And so this screws onto the TV and then there's a little slot here that will hang. That's it. You hang that right there. And on the back there are two uh, screws. Can you see that, Ken, right there? There's two little bolts that put, go onto there and that's it. So you can see once this is in place, you can swivel it, you can loosen this up to uh, point the TV down and up, and you got a great little mount hung on the wall. These anchors will secure about 100 pounds that's, a piece. That's kind of overkill. Yeah, that's a little small. That's not the one we're putting on the wall, Dave. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's it for today's vlog, guys. I know it was a little long, but hopefully you learned how to do that. That's, it's really not hard, but use at least... If you're going to do it this way, four of these anchors is not enough. You need at least eight of them. You cannot overkill this because it's not just that these will hold 100 pounds. you got to remember the sheetrock itself will only hold so much weight. So you want to distribute it across that sheetrock as much as you can. And final tip, when you're doing this, if you can at all do it, buy yourself a brand new TV to mount on the wall because the new ones are like half as heavy as the old ones. As long as you get a TV that's like 30 pounds or something, 30, 40 pounds, it, it, there's no way it comes off the wall if you use this method. Okay, that's it. See you guys next time.